This episode is sponsored by Caribbean Dance Sport, October the 31st through November the 4th, 2018. Welcome to Approach the Bar with Dance Beat. Tonight is going to be a first for us. Um, as you know, we discuss events that have taken place and we have never done the professional cabaret. I am totally honoured to have one of the greatest ever exponents of, what is it called? Well, I was a Blackpool champion of the exhibition in the United States. We call it the cabaret. Um, you can also dance and win a championship in the theater arts. And then they kind of created another thing called show dance. But at most competitions in the United States, they jam into one and it's kind of a hodgepodge. We are now going to discuss what happened at the recent Hotlanta Dance Classic in there. The duel of the cabaret champions. That's what it was called tonight. So it was called the Cabaret. Cabaret is a little bit more of uh, anything goes, but I think that the judges as well as the audience expect that it would be a complete story from beginning to end with that level of difficulty of tricks, aerials, over the head, and um, hopefully some kind of feeling. So on that note, let us see what actually happened tonight. Finishing sixth and uh, coming from Nashville, we had Staz and Jacqueline. So what was your opinion on this young couple who I've never seen before? Well, I have seen them before as well as I've judged them before. And you know what? They're growing. They uh, do a little bit more of what I was telling you before is the theater arts mm -hmm. because you see a specific ballroom dance so they have a little bit of foxtrot in their routine and they have some amount of lifts a theater arts routine would be 50 50 50 lifts and 50 a recognizable ballroom dance and um, I think they're growing in both of those things their lifts are are nice and um, their ballroom dancing is getting better I think the gentleman needs to learn to not use his arms so much in lifting her, use body weight, and um, you know, I just, I saw a lot of growth from them in a short period of time, so I think they're doing a good job. Um, I thought the young lady was delightful. Like, just, just beautiful. The young man looked worried. <laughs> well, he's got a hoister over his head. <laughs> so, wouldn't most men be worried? Um, um, uh, Mr. Day never looked worried with you. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Day was a good lifter. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, guys... Some people don't know that. You know, it's been a long time since I was a champion. I won in 1999 and I retired right away. My partner Gregory Day and I, we then toured the world, but we didn't always dance in the United States. And we did do that after our win for about eight years, so a lot of people don't remember. I do. Oh, you do? Of course I do. Of oh, course. <laughs> so guys, well done. Let us move on and see who finished fifth. Wow, after all this excitement, we do have to take a small break, but we will be back with more from the duel the cabaret, which happened at the Atlanta Dance Classic. Fantastic. It's been fun. It'll be more fun when we come back. This episode is sponsored by Caribbean Dance Sport, October the 31st through November the 4th, 2018.